Good day everyone, it's math time. This is Sir Jeff and welcome to our math tutorial video series. And for today's lesson, our topic is about addition of integers. Before we proceed to our main lesson, let's recall first the definition of an integer and the concept of absolute value of a number. Zero, together with the counting numbers and their opposites, are called integers. While absolute value of a number refers to the distance of a number from zero. Therefore, the absolute value of a number can never be negative. It is either equal to a positive number or zero. The main objective of this lesson is to formulate a rule on how to add integers using one of the maps of the problem-solving maps methodology. Are you ready? Let's start. In here, we will be using two colors to represent a number. For a positive number or positive integer, we will be using a yellow colored number. Example, for a negative number or negative integer, we will be using a red colored number. Example, okay. And in adding integers, we have four possible combinations. The combinations are positive number added to a positive number, a negative number added to a negative number, a positive number added to a negative number, and a negative number added to a positive number. From these combinations, we will divide this into two cases. For case number one, we have positive number added to a positive number and a negative number added to a negative number. For case number two, we have a positive number added to a negative number and a negative number added to a positive number. From these two cases, we will be presenting examples, and from the examples, we will generate a conclusion to represent the rule. So in here, we will be using example conclusion map. The map goes this way. So as you can see, we have here three boxes, a cloud, and another box. So the three boxes above, we will be placing here the examples for the lesson. Then from these examples, we will observe the pattern, investigate, for us to generate a conclusion to represent the rule. And as we conclude, it is your time now to give your own example. Let's have case number one. So here are the examples. For example number one, we have five plus six equals 11. Um, by the way, let's um, take note that if a given number doesn't have any sign, then that number is considered positive. So positive five and simply five are just the same. They are both positive, okay? Let's proceed. So example number two, we have negative eight plus negative seven plus negative 15. And last we have example number three, three plus positive 13 equals 16. Now, from these three examples, let's observe the pattern and investigate for us to generate a conclusion to represent the rule. And now let's observe the pattern for each examples. Let's start with the sign for each given numbers being added. For example number one, we have here um, two positive numbers being added. That's why it's both yellow. For number two, we have two reds here, or two negative numbers being added. And for example number three, we have two positive numbers. That's why it's both yellow. Okay, so observation number one, the numbers being added here have the same sign. Then how about the result? How do we get the result for each example? Of course, we get the sum, or we add the two numbers, that's why we arrive at the result. So observation number two, the result is the sum of the two numbers. Then how about the sign for each result? For example one, we have here a positive. Do you notice? A positive added to a positive, the result is a positive. That's why it's yellow plus yellow, it's yellow. For the second one, a red added to another red is a red. Or a negative number added to a negative number is a negative number. And as well as we have number three, same with number one. A yellow added to a yellow is a yellow. Or a positive number added to a positive number, then it's a positive number. So we have here three patterns being observed. First, the numbers being added have the same sign. Second, we get the sum of the two numbers. And the third one, the sign for the result 
is just the same with the two given numbers. To odd numbers with the same sign, we add their absolute values, and the sign of the sum is the sign of the original numbers. Okay? And for the last box, it is your time to give your own example. How? Please comment your example in the comment section. Case number two. Here are the examples. For example number one, we have 5 plus negative 3 equals 2. For example number 2, we have negative 8 plus 5 equals negative 3. And for example number 3, we have here 6 plus negative 14 equals negative 8. And now, let's observe the pattern for each example. For example number 1, we have here a positive added to a negative, a negative added to a positive, and a positive added to a negative. So in here, we added two numbers with different signs. That's why, as you notice, we have two different colors being combined. One yellow and one red, red and yellow, and yellow and red. Then, how about the result? How do we arrive at the result? Unlike in case number one, that we get the sum of the two numbers, in this case, we get the difference. Then, how about the sign for each result? How do we get positive 2 here, negative 3 here, and negative 8 here? Let's have first the first example. As we subtract 5 to 3, we get 2. Then why 2 is positive? Because we get the sign from the large absolute value. 5 is larger than 3, so we get the sign of 5, which is positive. In here, negative 8 is larger than 5 in terms of its absolute value. That's why we get the sign of 8, which is negative. Same with the third example. We have here 14 is larger than 6 in terms of its absolute value. Then the sign of 14 is negative. Then we get sign. That's why it's negative 8. Okay? So now, let's combine all those observations. First one is that the two numbers have different sign. Then we get the difference for each given number. Then the third one, the sign for the result is the sign of the larger absolute value. To add numbers with opposite sign, we subtract the smaller absolute value from the large absolute value. Then the sign of the sum is the sign of the number with the large absolute value. And for the last box, it is your time to give your own example. How? Please comment your example in the comment section. And to summarize the rules in adding sign numbers, let's consider the ideas of love and hate. For love, we will represent as positive and hate as negative. So love and love is love. More love than hate is still love. More hate than love is hate. And hate and hate is hate. Okay? I hope you learned something today. And please don't forget to subscribe this channel and like our video. Thank you.